And Keith, it's strange to talk about this on a day that's you know 39 degrees, yeah, right. but um, yeah. but we have had some cold stretches. Yeah, and we're gonna have some early next week. Plus, we had ice this morning. It's not yeah. like we're cruising, and yeah. that was legit. Uh, this morning, we're going to show you some ice reports. Now, ice reports are kind of weird. Let me let me frame it this way: a half inch of ice is a disaster. Yes. Because so let's start there. Because oh, yeah. you look right. at these numbers and you'll be like, "Well, this doesn't seem like much," but like a half inch is is a is a big problem. So you look at some of these. We've got point threes. We had a quarter inch at the jet port. Some some reasonable ice accretions out there enough to make things tough, especially secondary roads. A lot of people have trouble on sidewalks. We did a story a couple of years ago on how um, the bricks have a different specific heat, so that's why they freeze over easy and they stay frozen for a while. So we had some issues earlier this morning. These temperatures really helped. And if things are still slushy in your driveway and you haven't gotten a chance to it, I might get rid of that because we get some more snow coming in tonight and some freezing rain involved in that again. This is all coming in from the storm uh, towards Memphis. Remember, we've got these little areas of moisture coming on the west side of this ridge of high pressure. That's been our setup for the last couple of days. Now on the plus side, we don't have the same level of entrenched cold air that we did last night. So last night, it was in the mid 20s and low 20s to start. We're not going to start there. And so we're going to start much more marginal temperature profiles closer to freezing. And so we may initially get some freezing rain in here, even along the coastline briefly. I don't think it lasts too long, though. I think we're able to change over to rain along the coast with some sleet inland. And most of this will fall as snow. So it'll be a more uniform temperature profile from the top of the atmosphere to the bottom, which is what gives you snow as opposed to sleet or freezing rain. And it's snowing through mid morning tomorrow through the middle of the day. And these bands of snow are probably not tremendous, but they're persistent. And so it snows a good part of the day, moderate light, back and forth, and that gets us to, I think, three to five inches of snow in this zone right here where you can see that kind of trailing over and over. And then we end as a couple of snow showers later in the evening. A couple of flurries possible on Saturday now, largely a cloudy and quiet day. So ice accretion amounts again here are gonna be lower, just anywhere in the pink. We could see another glazing, I'd say, a coating of freezing rain, not as much as what we saw last night. As far as snow goes though, there'll be more of that this time around, three to five inches of snow for a good part of the state here, kind of right where that band is gonna set up. Augusta, for example, I could see right on the line. I think they're closer, kind of right around three makes sense to me. And then under an inch along the coast, there could be some snow in a place like Portland, but there won't be enough for it to really accumulate. So quiet with flurries on Saturday, quiet most of Sunday. We're looking at Sunday night for this storm, but man, the models still don't want to really give this uh, to us. It's still just to our south, just a bit suppressed. Um, I'd pencil in some light snow at least over southern Maine. It doesn't look like a huge deal as it stands. We do have several days still yet to go, but there hasn't been a model run yet, guys, where I felt like, all right, we get clocked with it, you know, Sunday night, Monday. So until that shows up, I'm not too concerned. It does get chilly into uh, Monday night and Tuesday. Temperatures fall, maybe some light snow on Wednesday. So actually kind of cruising into a typical overall pattern after this, oh, but another see. area of frozen precipitation and some people haven't cleaned off the... It really cleared out now. The last one. Well, you know, I had someone last night say when it, it was just starting freezing rain, he said, my driveway has snow on it. What do I do? And I'm like, leave um, it. Because right. yeah. then you can get under it and just, just, just drag out. that right through. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Good advice. Keith, thanks. We'll be right